Senator Roberts. Thank you, Chair. Minister, you cannot argue with the fact that someone who is just below the next bracket, the next the tax threshold, will soon be paying higher tax because of inflation. That is a fact. You, the only way to beat that is to index brackets, index the, the tax thresholds. Without supporting my amendment, it shows you do not want to stop rampant increases in tax, or you want to keep bracket creep to exploit taxpayers. Why don't you want to fix bracket creep? properly by indexing it so that there is no creep because as inflation rises and wages rise, the brackets will rise so people stay within the same bracket. Why don't you want to fix bracket creep? Minister. Well, the tax uh, rates haven't been indexed. That's right. Um, and I understand your amendment uh, seeks to do that. Um, I don't think you've moved your amendment, but I may as well cover off. Um, we're not supporting your amendment. Um, the approach in this bill is preferable to your amendment because it provides governments, and I'm not talking about our government, but all governments, this is the way it's been done, with greater flexibility to respond to fluctuations in the economic cycle. Um, and this proposal does deal with bracket creep. It does return money to taxpayers. And I think your I don't know where you get your $38 billion figure from over the forward estimates, but um, I think your point there is that there will be, you know, that's assuming wherever that number comes from, but you're assuming no change to tax rates um, in that. And you know, history will show governments have made decisions uh, to return tax where it's um, or to implement tax cuts where it's affordable and sustainable to do so on the budget. And I expect governments of both political persuasions will continue to take that approach. Senator Roberts. Minister, I don't, in my view, I don't think you're being honest with the people of Australia because uh, bracket creep is a stealth tax. Inflation helps your tax revenue. So how many pages in our tax acts? Minister. There would be thousands in there. To take that on notice. Oh, sorry, I'm just seeing if we can provide you with an accurate answer, but it's quite detailed, and there's um, obviously pages that underpin the tax act as well. So, do you you would like a, an answer on that? Um, I'm not sure we'll be able to do that tonight accurately, but we will see what we can do. Okay, sorry, Senator, Senator Roberts. Minister. I was going to say it's a lot. Senator Roberts. To the nearest 10,000, uh, nearest thousand would be would be fine. Thanks, mm. Minister. Mm. Um, the point there I'm, I'm trying to make is that we already have a very complex tax system, which is confusing for small businesses, confusing for people who don't have access to lawyers and deep pockets. Uh, it's confusing for individuals, families. Um, the the question I have is, you're potentially making. We, we always support returning more money back to taxpayers. Now, $15 a week is a lot of money to many people. In the overall scheme of things, it's not very much. In a few years, you'll be taking far more, you'll be recovering that. So is there any plan to actually reform taxation properly, do a comprehensive reform so the tax system becomes simple, clear, effective and efficient and fair and honest? Is there any stomach within the, within the Labor Party to be honest with the people of Australia and really reform taxation comprehensively. Minister. Uh, thank you. Well, I think the government's been clear about it, what our tax uh, changes are. Um, they are obviously the Treasury Laws Amendment, Cost of Living Tax Cut Bill, with um, the bills I referred to before on high balance super accounts, on multinational tax reform, on PRRT. Am I missing one? Um, no, I don't accept that interjection. Um, I'm just seeing if I, I'd forgotten one. Um, and they, they are the government's tax plan. So um, that is a. Yeah, I said that. That is um, the government's tax agenda going forward. Senator Roberts. Uh, Chair, can I move my um, amendment on uh, sheet number 2342?
So I'm just checking, uh, Senator. Oh, sorry, Senator Hume. Um, so there's a question before the chair, but I'll go to Senator Hume. Yes. Senator Hume. Thank you, Chair. I just want to, uh, for the benefit of the chamber, um, assure you that the opposition is going to oppose this amendment, Senator Roberts. Um, we won't be supporting it because the stage three tax cuts were originally designed to address bracket creep, but to do it in a very uh, in a structural way and in a costed way and um, in, a, in a fiscally responsible way. While this measure would address bracket creep, you're absolutely right, the fiscal cost of this change isn't known uh, and that's why we can, couldn't support it at this stage. The Prime Minister's broken promise means that delivering the stage three tax reforms as they had been legislated originally is now impossible. But the coalition remains committed to fighting bracket creep and to enshrining aspiration because strong leaders keep their promises even when it's hard to do so. Uh, Senator, Senator Roberts. Can I move my amendment? Um, you've already moved your, your amendment, yeah. so that's before the chair. I'm just looking at Senator McKim. Did you want to speak on this, Minister? Did you? Minister. Thank you. Um, well, just I made some comments previously, but we will also be opposing uh, this amendment. Um, the bill, as before the Senate, uh, does deal with bracket creep. It delivers tax cuts for 13.6 million Australians. It's carefully calibrated um, to provide more cost of living relief. I know Senator Roberts said $15. That's, uh, I think that figure you're using is the extra that people will get. Uh, for that, for those people on, who will get um, fifteen dollars extra on top of the tax cuts they would have otherwise got, and for many people that is um, a substantial amount of money. Um, but we recognise there's other things to do on um, cost of living. That's why our other measures are being put in place. But in terms of uh, uh, a, a, your amendment, we oppose it. We think that the bill um, is this. The way we're approaching it in this bill is preferable, uh, and it's the way it's been done in the past. It just gives government the flexibility to make those decisions when the budget, when it's affordable, uh, to return bracket creep in a way um, that can maximise those returns. Senator Roberts. Uh, Minister, I want to take you back just briefly to a previous answer you gave when you talked about the, the you implied the surplus, which is correct, in, in the budget. The surplus has only been around for two years because of the strength of our agricultural production and our coal exports and our iron ore exports. That's the only reason. So what, what we're seeing is a country that is at the mercy of international prices for its major primary production, pr productions, uh, products, and if something happens, then we have to rely upon bracket creep to pull us out of the mess. And that's not fair to the Australian families and individuals. Minister. Uh, well, I accept that um, you know our export industry, our resources certainly contribute um, to our tax revenues through company tax receipts and others. Uh, but um, the strength of the revenue upgrades has also been um, improved and strengthened by the strength of our labour market. We've had many more people in jobs, earning money, and therefore paying tax uh, than we have previously. Um, Unemployment's at a record low, participation at record high. It's kicking up a bit now, but um, that has contributed significantly to the improved position of the budget. And yeah, I mean, we acknowledge that, and part of that has allowed us to pay debt down so that we're not paying as much into the future and generations of the future paying those interest costs. It's the fastest growing cost on the budget, is our interest um, rate, uh, managing the interest costs on our debt. And it's allowing us to deal with all of those areas of pressure that we talk about all the time in here, NDIS, aged care, hospitals, defence. Um, they're all big costs coming at the budget, and we do have to manage it in a responsible way. Senator Roberts. Minister, I'm not pretending to say it's easy. It's, it's complex, but it's, need, it's excessively complex. You're addressing the, the need for increasing tax revenues to, for the extra expenditure, including interest payments. What you're not saying is that a lot of that money is coming from individuals through immigration, which is putting enormous pressure on house prices and inflation, uh, and that's a real, a real um, impediment to people looking for houses right now. We've got people in Queensland sleeping in showgrounds in Gladstone, sleeping in parks in Bundaberg, sleeping in parks in Brisbane, sleeping on the banks of the river in Brisbane in tents, in Ipswich, Logan, uh, Townsville. So um, I think we're making a rod for our own back 
when are we going to see comprehensive tax reform to take the load off individuals and put it onto large corporations so they start paying their fair share? Minister. Well, I've outlined that we do have a bill around multinational tax reform to ensure that those big multinational companies are paying their fair share of tax. I think if you talk to many domestic um, companies, they'll say they're paying their fair share of tax right now. I mean, people have a view about that, I guess. Um, uh, and you know, um, individuals do contribute substantially to the Commonwealth budget through income tax, um, and. You know, we need to generate revenue in order to pay for services. Uh, your point around population and housing, um, you know, this isn't the, you know, obviously you can't do everything through tax cuts, and that's why all of those initiatives we've got in housing are so important, you know, and why we want the chamber to support the, the latest part of that initiatives, or our housing initiatives, which is build to rent. Um, we've got a full suite of programs. We acknowledge supply is the problem. And the Commonwealth is right in there with our sleeves rolled up, um, working with states and territories to do whatever we can to generate more supply. And also, as you know, some of the changes we've made uh, to the migration system uh, to ensure that those net overseas migration numbers that we've seen rise post COVID are coming back down to our more traditional uh, rates. So if no other senator wishes to make a contribution on this particular question. The question before the chair is that the request for amendment one on sheet 2342 be agreed to, as moved by Senator Roberts. Those of that opinion say aye. aye. Those against say no. Aye. The noes have it. Noes have it. No division is required. And also, I'm playing nicely, Minister.